יש פה קבוצה של 50 אחוז מהאוכלוסייה החרדית, היא צריכה להגיד כל הזמן שהכל בסדר, תמיד עם חיוך על הפנים, בשביל על הגז, אבל לא בסדר. אין לנו אף אישה חרדית שיושבת סביב אף שולחן של מקבלי החלטות. ואני מרגיש האמת שמי ששולח אתכם לפרק את החברה הישראלית. ממתי נהייתי לא חרדית אמיתית? מהרגע שהתחלתי לדבר על הנושאים האלה. לפני מאה שנה לא הייתה אף מדינה שאישה יכולה להצביע. זה ברור מה שאני אגיד. הרבנים קמו בבוקר ונתנו לנשים קודם. אין ביטוי אחר לגיטימיות בעקבות הכל שלי. הגיע הזמן שאישה חרדית תהיה בפנים. It's already putting them there to challenge the situation. They are exposed to threat and violence. We are here to complete the work of the study. <laughs> Congratulations again to Anna. I don't believe that she's here to join us to accept the award today, but we'll make sure she gets the prize. Um, for all filmmakers, if you are here, we will be asking you to share a few words after the trailer plays. And for the filmmakers who aren't, we'll be collecting an acceptance speech and making sure that those get out to everyone. We do wanna make sure everybody gets properly honored and has a chance to be recognized for their uh, award today. Um, next, I'm so honored uh, to bring to the virtual stage a member of our previewer committee, Nicole Stoffer, um, just to share a little bit about this uh, role uh, before we talk about the specific award. Um, each year, our film festival previewers take a look at that first round of our films. They help us sort through the more than 100, 140 plus submissions that we get, looking at each of these films to ensure that there's deep mission alignment so that we are really curating the best of selection of women rights films and stories from around the world. So we thank Nicole and our entire previewer committee for uh, being a part of this process. We encourage others who may wanna be a part of this process to reach out and join us in years to come. There's truly no limit to the number of people we can engage in this part of the work. And it's an incredible volunteer opportunity for those who enjoy film review. Um, Nicole uh, is here and we're really excited to welcome her to the stage now, Nicole. Greetings, everyone. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, it is such a pleasure to be here with you all today. My name is Nicole Stouffer. As Chelsea mentioned, I had the wonderful privilege of working with Women's Voices Now as part of the festival preview committee, where I got to watch and select some of the extraordinary films we are celebrating here today. For the filmmakers, to witness such bravery and resiliency as you forge the path of truth and impact in the fight to defend women's rights is something astounding. And I am truly in awe and inspired by your talents and dedication in leading the charge toward global gender equality. Thank you for amplifying these voices and thank you for making a difference. With that being said, I am excited to be here presenting the award for Best Emerging Filmmaker for a Documentary Short. This $1,000 prize is for a filmmaker who shows real promise in this role. Personal style, authentic voice, and passion for social change concerning women or girls emanate from their work, and they show an aptitude for executing their vision. Finding Venus, is a cathartic experience both for the participants of the workshop and for the film itself, the viewers of the film itself. It references the ancient mother's cult and paleolithic sculptures of goddesses in juxtaposition of the self-destruction and self-respect and self-love, the basic universal human emotions. This film is very sincere. Today, we are proud to present Finding Venus by Mandy Lynn as the winner of our Best Emerging Filmmaker for a Short Documentary. Please enjoy the clip, and then we invite Mandy to join us to speak. Congratulations.
My final niece walks into my kitchen Christmas last year and says, Itty baby, I bet. This was my response to it. We work hard enough. There will be a generation where they let it go. They can just be creative and powerful women and they never have to power it out. What would that be like? What would the world be like with that? My five-year-old niece walks into my kitchen at Christmas. Welcome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in tears. Holy cow. <laughs> I just um I just want to thank you um uh on behalf of all the women that um participated in the film that literally um bared their chest and became part of the luscious order of golden shield maidens. <laughs> they were creating a shield wall of of love for the next generation and um oh my goodness <laughs> and i'm an accidental filmmaker um I, <laughs> that's the the i guess thank you thank you so much i'm a a nurse and a photographer i'm a master photographer here in new zealand and um the the film um community got behind the project and just um loved everything that we were doing and the film commission got wind of the project and suggested we apply to um their um um uh, fresh shorts competition and we we're actually the the only documentary crew to ever win it um which just blew us away and um and so the New Zealand film community has rallied around this and around me. And um, I have so much gratitude um, for them. And uh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for the women. Thank you for the girls. And um, thank you to my um, complete um, uh crew that has surrounded and brought this beautiful thing to life it was a massive labor of love so mwah. thank you from new zealand and thank you from finding venus congratulations mandy we're so happy you were able to join us today and be a part of this and receive this live uh, it's so special um to share this with you um we're gonna keep moving forward with our awards presentations and reminder for folks that you will have another week to watch all of these films, the winning films and the rest of the collection. Um, so we'll make sure that that's available to you. Um, but next, without further ado, I'm so honored to introduce a member of our jury panel, uh, Cindy Abel to present our next award, the best emerging filmmaker in the documentary feature category. Cindy, welcome. Thank you, Chelsea, and hello, everyone. Thank you so much to my fellow jurors, as well as to the filmmakers. I always find it fascinating to be able to, to see not only the work of other filmmakers, but to be able to interact with people who are responding to those and see the places where we have some of the same and also some of the, the different responses based on what our lives are like and what our current situation is. So uh, along with those other film um, jurors, film jurors, we watched more than 24 hours of film. And so you might imagine, given the range of topics, how this was simultaneously emotionally draining and emotionally gratifying. And I personally love just seeing the passion and the enthusiasm for sharing stories, some happy, some sad, some works in progress. Uh, which made our decisions, as you can imagine, pretty difficult. So one of those films is Resistorhood. And so this feature documentary I really loved because it wasn't just informative. It wasn't recapturing something we might have seen on television news. 